Do you want a guard build that can play any game mode and absolute dominate in NBA 2K23? Do you want a build that gets crazy contact dunks and dunks like this with gold limitless takeoff? Do you want a build that can play the 1s, 2s, 3s, 5v5 pro am and rec and green crazy shots like this? I'm telling you, it does not matter what court this build is playing on, it will absolutely dominate NBA 2K23. Not to mention, you can lock up anybody with this build and get any steal you want. And it will stop anybody that tries to come into your paint. Alright man, it's your boy Ashbridge and today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best all around guard build that will go crazy in any game mode in NBA 2K23. But I don't like to waste any time, so let's get right into it. I'm going to be showing you guys the stats and badges. Just so just so y'all are convinced that this is the best build in the game. So as you can see, we are six foot one, but that is not a problem. Uh look because look at our defense. We're just gonna go ahead and start with the defense here. We get an 88 per rim, 95 still. And we can crash the boards and with the bronze rebound chaser. Really good all around. We do get Hall of Fame Menace, Silver Clamps, Gold Challenger, anything you need. And we are on spam gen, so this 95 still is gonna come a big cl time clutch. You could low-key play the lock on it if you wanted to. It's not like a legit lock, but it can run the lock if you guys wanted to. Insane playmaking, 92 ball handle. Most people do want the 95 for Hall of Fame Unpluckable. But we do run gold, unpluckable, and gold clamp breaker because we do get a lot of playmaking badges on this build as well. Um, really solid all around. High pass accuracy for the pro am and the rec. Most people do want an 8085. You can tweak it to lower your perim a little bit just to get the 8085 if you guys want. But I like it at 79. I feel like I passed the ball well. I do average over like 14 assists a game in the rec and the 5v5 pro am as well um 92 3 you do get gold agent threes and gold limitless two most overpowered badges in the game so those are really op we do get crazy contact dunks on this build with gold limitless physicals are really nice too uh not to mention add plus four to all of these because we do have gym rat so we get a 79 speed not too worried about the speed because we're mostly gonna have the ball in our hand anyways so we do get a 94 acceleration a 74 vert and a 99 stamina and as for the badges we get 14 finishing don't really need that much finishing all we need is gold and millis and silver posterizer everything else is just extra and it's just nice to have but we don't really need it we get 27 shooting badges once again agent threes gold limitless and then green machine and volume shooter are always really nice badge to have and hall of fame guard up is good too that's what i usually run um we get 26 playmaking most guards usually like around 28 playmaking but we made it work just because we don't get the hall of fame pluckable so that's why i think the 26 sits nice um and for the defense crazy defense we get hall of fame menace silver clamps Bronze box out beast, bronze rebound chaser. Those two work really well together, especially when we're playing the twos. Um, I do play twos a lot. I play the ones a lot as well. I can rebound the ball pretty good. I mean, I'm not no 6'10 big. I'm not going to outboard them. I'm not saying I do, but we do get really good boards um, on this build because just bronze rebound chaser is really nice to have. Gold glove, once again, we are on spam gen, so gold glove does go crazy. Um, with a 95 steal and then we get gold interceptor gold challenger and silver workhorse But uh, yeah, so we get 14 27 26 and 27 on this build we do get uh, Play take and sharp take lock take and shock hurting take if you guys are wondering By the intro I did have rim take on a 6-1 But that's just because we did the takeover glitch. It's really fun to use um, so I do run the rim take every once in a while. We don't really need it just because we usually get our stops by getting stills anyway. But um, it's just fun to put on every once in a while. Get a couple of blocks. But uh, yeah. But anyway, um, let's get right into the build. All right. So for the build, of course, we're gonna go with point guard position because it is an all-around point guard. 
Hand don't matter, jersey number don't matter. I like right, but it's all personal preference. Um, for the height, we are, are gonna go 6'1". We're gonna go with the 6'7 wingspan, that gives us the 92.3. And um, for the weight, we're gonna go up to 196, because we do want that 90 acceleration, or 94, if you guys have gym rat. Um, body shape, I just wanted to find. I look, you do like the built look, but lots of people like compact. But uh, um, it don't really matter anyway. So for the finishing, we're gonna go with a 47 close shot, a 72 driving layup, an 86 driving dunk, really OP. Um, that's honestly the meta, to be honest. Um, for the shooting, we want a 92 three pointer. Um, we're gonna keep our mid range. We're gonna put our free throw at a 68. Actually, our ball handle goes up to a 92. Once again, you do get the Hall of Fame unpluckable at 95, but we're not gonna use that because we need the stats for other things. And then we want an 82 speed with ball, so we get that extra badge right here. 80 is good enough, but we don't want the extra badge. And then pass accuracy, we're gonna bring us up to a 79, so we get the 23. Um, for defense, we get an 88 perim. See, as you can see, we don't get the extra badge until 88, so that's why we have an 88, because 87 is where we get the Hall of Fame menace, but 88 gets us the extra badge. Then for the still, of course, we get 95 for that Hall of Fame glove. Um, and then we want to throw our rebound up to a 70. We do get... Uh, a few extra badges from the rebound and we get bronze rebound chaser. That is really nice to have um, Then we want a 90 acceleration a 70 vertical We're gonna keep our strength at 38. We don't really need strength anyway, and our stamina goes up Oh Shiz, I didn't realize I raised up. Oh, I forgot to take this down. Oh, yeah So put your driving layup in your close shot 272. I forgot that the ball handle raises those So just keep that there and your three-pointer up one two for the and then just put your day of rest on stamina So it does go to a set uh, 95 add plus four to all of these 99 stam 74 vert 94 excel 79 speed but you guys are probably wondering that i had 14 27 26 and 27 so if you guys don't know there's these things called flashback games um they give you four extra badges that you don't get to choose where they go um they go on defense two on de uh defense and two on playmaking so i that's where i got the 25 and 27 from and then i you get the plus four extra badges so i put one on playmaking and then three on shooting, so that's 14, 26, 26, and 27. And then I hit level 40 one time, and I just put it on shooting. So you will end up with 26, uh, 26, and 27. Unless you hit 40, then you'll have the extra badges, and you can put them wherever. I would prefer or recommend that you put them on shooting or playmaking. But for the takeovers, if I'm running Pro-Am or Rec, I usually like to go playmaking first and sharp shooting second 1v1 court i usually like to go with sharp takeover first because you do get more takeover with accelerator and whatever if you whatever your primary takeover does and whatever you do the most um for like twos um i usually stay with this a lot of the time or i go lock anti up comp 3v3 stage this is the meta fades are op this year might as well just run shot creator and sharp but we're just gonna stay with this for now and you get a nice little build name too a two-way three-point shot creator but um yeah anyways i appreciate y'all if y'all made it to the end of this video um make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new um make sure to join the my community discord the link will be in the description that lets you guys know whenever I post a video or I'm about to go live on TikTok and YouTube. I'm trying to stream every day. I'm trying to get back on that grind. We are on the road to 20k followers on TikTok. So y'all go make sure to follow. I will have the link in the description as well. And we're on the road to 5k on YouTube. But anyways, I appreciate y'all. And it's your boy Ashbridge. I'm out. Peace.